Hey, Hal and Sarge, will America surrender? I believe it's already surrendered. We've allowed someone to be appointed to the presidency, not elected. Surrender. 53% of Americans have surrendered to the jab. Now, not all of them, not even the majority of them did it for health reasons. They did it for convenience. They wanted to be able to go to Starbucks or their favorite restaurant or go see their favorite sports team in an indoor venue or a concert. They capitulated for the privilege of gathering together. Rising gas prices, surrendered. Rising food cost, surrendered. Rising utilities, surrendered. Some of you right now watching YouTube on your home computers, your internet prices just went up here recently. You're paying them. <laughs> you surrendered. The crisis at our border. We are being invaded daily. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of people come across our border freely. Yet people are indifferent to it. They act as if nothing's going on. It doesn't concern them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why? Because they've surrendered. So just imagine when shit hits the fan and the government tightens down and shuts down supply chains, infrastructure, things of that nature. Imagine how people will act if they subjected themselves to the jab for convenience, what they'll do when their family's starving, what they're doing when their family's cold. What are the elderly going to do when they can't get their medications? Those who live past the first couple of months of shit hit the fan. So will America surrender? Guys, you've been surrendering one skirmish at a time. The battle lines keep backing up. They keep winning. So will America surrender? America's already surrendered. But as always, it's just my opinion. You can take it with a grain of salt. This is Helen Sarge. I'm out.